G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's an interesting high school geometry problem. It goes as follows. A triangle with vertices 6, 5, 8, negative 3, and 9, 1 is reflected about the line x equals 8 to create a second triangle. Okay, I'll draw this in a moment. I obviously need to draw this picture. But the question is, what is the area of the union of the two triangles? All right. Let's draw this thing. So there's a triangle with three vertices, and we're given the actual coordinates. Let me draw seven axes. Da, 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 da. Um, let me draw eight, negative three first. It's the one that's sort of uh, below the axis. So there's at some point eight, we've got the point eight, negative three. And then we've got the point uh, nine, one. So it's uh, eight is one over, and one so is about there or something. So nine, one. And we have the point six, five. So eight is uh, two lows, six and five, I don't know, somewhere up here or something. Six, five. So this is the triangle we have. Okay, it's a wonky triangle. What are we doing to it? I've forgotten. Um, this triangle is reflected about the line x equals 8. Okay, so x equals 8 is a vertical line. In fact, uh, they made a line that goes right through the bottom of this triangle. So we have to flip this triangle over. And then the question is, what is the area of the union of the two triangles? Right, so I have a feeling when I flip this over, I get this sort of strange, jaggly, starish shaped thing. It's going to be very elongated or something. And that makes me nervous. But that doesn't make me nervous. I think it's going to be a very complicated shape. So we're going to have like six points on it or something. No, maybe five points actually, because that point just stays where it is. So it's going to be a five pointed thing. And in fact, at this moment, I feel like I doubt that the competition writers here actually wanted me to do a lot of nasty, grungy calculation and work. In fact, I'm going to employ strategy number eight, second guess the author. I bet when I reflect this triangle over, they've made it so it's going to be nice for me. What would be nice? It would be so nice if this 9-1 came and flipped over and they had to say here. That would be the most ideal point. So um, since eight is one up and it's, uh, nine is one up from eight, I want to go one down from eight. Wouldn't it be lovely if the reflection landed right there with a 7-1? I have a feeling that would be so nice, and I bet that's what's going to go on. But how can I check if that really is happening? That is, is the point 71 on this left side of the triangle? Well, actually, actually, look at this. One over, four up. One over, four up, maybe. But look at the slope of this line. This is two over. Well, I guess I'm going negative. Two over, and negative three to five is eight up. Ah, this does have slope negative four. This has slope negative four. Slopes match, yes. Those authors were kind to me. They made it so that when I reflect 9-1 across this vertical line, it does land on the left side of that triangle. And I bet, I bet they'd be again incredibly nice to me, I bet when I reflect 6-5 over, it's going to land here in this perfect position here. Now, can I check that? Uh, 1 and 4, so that's slope of 4. Uh, 1 and 4 would be uh, 10 and 5. Is that really the reflection? 2 away from 8, 2 away from 8. Look at that. Indeed, but there is the reflection. I knew they were going to be nice. I could tell. I guessed. I guessed this question was going to be nice. So having used that to my advantage, all I need to do is work out the area of that shape. Ha ha ha. Oh, we'll still have to do the work, don't I? Okay, so what is the area of that shape? Um, hmm. All right, all right. Uh, I can see it's basically one great big triangle. In fact, if I know that base, well, use the word if then, I actually do know the base. It's a 6 to 10. That base is length 4. And I actually know the height of this triangle. Its height goes from a height of 5 to a height of 8. So it's height of 8. So I actually know the area of this big triangle. Half a base, half of 4, times 8. And if I could just subtract the area of this... Ooh, the picture's getting very messy now. Good thing this is my personal scratch work and no one's watching me. <laughs> if I could then subtract the area of that triangle, that would be great. Which also has base 4. And all I need to know is its height. It's height. Do I know that length? Hmm. All right, all right. Let's not panic. Maybe I can work out that length. In fact, I bet I could work out the coordinates of that intersection point. So once I know how high that point is, then I can just go a 5, take away that height, and they'll give me the length I need, and the question should fall into place. Great. So do I know the coordinates of that point? Actually, I know half the coordinates. I know it's x coordinates 8. So it's 8, comma something. I'll call it y. OK. I think this is going to fall into place now. Because it actually now, no it lies on this line. I could work out the slope of that line. I could work out the slope of that line segment. The slopes have to match. I bet that will tell me what Y is. 
All right, so I have a strategy. I have a strategy now. I bet I can work out why. Once I know why, I know the height of that small triangle up there. Once I know the height of the small triangle, I can subtract it from the area of the big triangle and get the area I want, and this question would fall into place. Brilliant. All right, now I have to carry through with the actual details. So actually, I'll leave that to you. Try that out. See if it actually does work. Does this plan seem to fall into place? And if it does, get an answer. And when you've got an answer, compare it to the essay that goes with this video. Let's compare results and see if we've got the same place. And then, have a look at some of the extension problems I came up with this. That's just a good gateway, some interesting stuff. Cool. All right, well, thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.